Hello, 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 and welcome to a actual series on the channel which I'm doing. It is the Create Mod. Now, I've created a little mod pack for myself to play through. It's got some uh, biomes mods, some decoration mods, but obviously the Create Mod as well, as I want to get into the mod and see what we can do with a functioning factory in the world. But yeah, so in this first episode, we are going to be just doing the normal stuff, mining trees, gathering supplies, and then dipping our toes into the world of create. We will be processing items, creating a factory, and using most, if not all, of what create has to offer, as I do want a central processing factory, and then a train which delivers items from different farms around the world directly to the factory. Now's better than never. Let's just get into it. First, I will talk you through what kind of mods um, I have in the pack. Um, so it's, it's not a very big pack. There's um, a few mods which will obviously help the experience. First off, starting, I have the camera utils mod. So as you can see, my zoom zooms in. I can do also other fancy stuff. Uh, I've not actually figured out all the keybinds yet, but I, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure that'll that'll get fixed. We obviously have the create mod in here, as well as some decorative blocks. Um, we have JEI, which is on the right here, and I'll just take a scroll through the different pages while I talk about what else is in here. We have Indium to make my game run a bit quick, uh, quicker, better, whatever. We also have a mod menu so I can change some different things in the mods. I have Sodium to help my um, experience better as well. Obviously, I have Oh, the Biomes You'll Go, which we're stood in currently right now. We have... Uh, and very nice biome here. We have some quite fancy big trees, as you can see off in the big distance. In the big distance, in the distance as well as some grass. Um, we also have a trade cycling mod, uh, and also I can pick up villagers and have them in my inventory so I can transport them around better. And then I also have um, shulk box tooltips, which um, help with showing what's in shulker boxes i'm not sure if i'm going to be using much shulker boxes but you know it's there if i want to also i have a free cam this is mostly to show off builds and um, it shows off what's in my current render distance so i can't just go everywhere but i can go underground but i won't be using that as much um so yeah let's just get straight out oh, okay I'm, I'm dying dying i'm dying okay so as you can see, my hunger is already very far down. I say we get geared up uh, with a little montage of me getting geared up, having some items, some iron, and then we're going to find a space to call home. So let's... Oh, I can also zoom out, by the way. Isn't this cool? So I can do a slow zoom or I can zoom out. Yeah, but anyway, let's get on with it. Cow, prepare to die. Dead. Yeah, you're dead. Okay, let's just eat some more beef. Okay. And let's mine some trees. Okay, now we need to make some tools. I'm going to grab a pickaxe to start it off. I'm going to skip past most of this stuff as it's fairly boring. And I'm sure you just want to get into the create mod itself. So, yeah. Let's get on with it, boys. Pick one, pick two, pick three. Let's grab some cane. Oh, pretty tree. Come on, come on. Another pig. And another. Oh. Mr. Sheep. I need a bed. Mr. Sheep. I must save you. Come back into safety. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, good. Thank you, Mr. Sheep. A village. We must go and conquer it. Do I kill the golem or do I leave it here? Uh, I think kill. No! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, oh my god. No, I'm not. I'm such a G. And... Dead. Free iron. Not bad. Hello, is anyone here? Have I really picked a village which has 
nothing right now. In bed? Oh yeah, they're in bed. Okay. Hi, dude. Um, pick you up first. <laughs> That's so funny. And then we're gonna get in bed. Brilliant, sweet dreams. Okay, this is mine. Uh, I'm gonna take him with me. Um, uh oh, there's a creeper. Run, 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 run. Oh, do I actually want that? Yeah, I want this bed instead. Uh, I'll keep the other bed, just, in, just my dude. Okay, we've got... Oh, wait, I don't really need the wall, but I can have the food, I guess. Uh-oh. Oh, dodge and weave. Oh, dodge, oh, yeah, dodge and weave. Oh, okay. You trash, kid? Yes. Ah, the village expands this way, and there's more guys. Okay. And there's also a melon, which I'm going to take advantage of because I can start a melon farm. There's also cats. Oh, my God. Should I get a cat? No. Mm, maybe. Oh, should I get a cat? Where did that creeper go? I want to take you. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, I see a new biome. Wait, I've been here before, haven't I? Should I make a hoe so I can mine the hay quicker? My inventory is already full. Oh my god, I thought I was a creeper. What the hell? You just picked up my seeds. Why is there so many creepers around here? Get away. Right. Let's find a pretty biome to just set up shop. And then we're going to go mining. Pig. Uh, let's throw away the poppy. We only need one to start a farm. We can actually start an automatic farm as well. Ooh. What is this? What is this biome? Oh, that's not right. Uh, it is a rainbow beach. I like it. Okay, we can also start traveling the seven seas. Um, okay. Let's do this. And we're off. We're traveling. To the oh my god. Wow. What is this? This is just a this is just a biome. What? I think that's thumbnail material, boys. I think this is where I want to set up for now. Oh, I don't have space again. Okay, we'll get rid of the brown wall. Um. Okay, this is, it's still pretty a plain biome though to live in. Hmm. I could go and explore over this way. Whoa. We're over here now. Okay. This is, this looks like somewhere where I want to settle down. Do feel like I need a bit of space, a little bit of breathing space though. Oh, I mean, I mean... We've already found them, boys. Series is over. We got diamonds. And we got iron. Okay, this is our cave. I think we should go here. I think here is where I want to do it. Okay. Let's get rid of some of that. Let's make an iron pick. Okay. Let's make a little chest. We have a chest. Let's store our things in it. I'm going to take some of these. Okay. Okay. Let's grab some wood. And then we're going down to the caverns. Okay. I think eight will do for now. Uh, basically, what I want to do is grab some andesite, which is right there. Okay. Because andesite is... Actually, I can probably get one of these because um, 
it's closer and easier to get. I want to get some andesite and some iron. Uh, because I believe that they are the main components for create. So if I type in andesite, yeah, the andesite alloy is iron nuggets and andesite or zinc nuggets. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so I also believe that like water wheels are made out of that stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so I want to get that power just started off from the get-go. And then what we can do is we can start with that, work our way up. Work into wind power, processing all the ores that we get, and yeah, just being becoming epic. So uh, that's what I'll do. I'll gather a lot of iron, andesite, copper, and I then we'll be back to start with the water wheel. So I shall see you when that is all done. So we have actually now got some materials. I shall show you them off once I'm back up. But um, as you can see, I've dug out some of the andesite down there. I also explored quite a lot of that cave, but I've not gone down to get the diamonds yet as I wanted to come back up and get some power going as we can, as I can show you how pretty much easy it is to get. Oh, what the hell's going on here? What the hell's that? A shrub. Okay. Yeah, so how easy it is to progress and create. So, these are all the materials I have so far. Not much iron. I wasn't seeing much iron down there. Yeah, so we can process them and then um, we'll be good. But yeah, let's just craft a little chest. We're going to put all our ores in the same chest. I got quite a lot of zinc too. And then four stacks of andesite. So actually, we're going to take a stack of that and some iron and we're going to craft just a bit of the alloy actually let's do let's do that so we have 27 now so if I make some shafts uh, and then to make the water wheels I think it's something like this uh, is it like eight of them one of them no it's not I'm just done oh I have to make the cog wheels first okay Okay, so let's put a shaft in the corner and make a cogwheel and then we can surround it. And we have a small water wheel. Now, if I grab a bucket, uh, just make out a little uh, little trough here for the water to sit in. And then we're going to place the water wheel down in this little area. And then if we go grab some water... Okay. So I'm going to place it here. That's not right. Oh, it is right. I do like that. Oh, can I just like have like a little strip of it? Yes. So it would go faster if it was like being cycled around like this, wouldn't it? So maybe like, let's grab some sand. Let me get some sand. I think, can this be used as, I need to download Whalier too, just so I can see what. I'm looking at. <laughs> uh, I hope this... Yeah, this is blue sand. So I hope I can um, get some glass out of this. Right, so let's get the furnace out. And then... Oh, we can we can smelt it. Okay. Just because I kind of want to get some more power going into this. Because we can take a shaft out the side. And this is our rotational power now. Uh, so we do actually have some power, which is great. Uh, and then the, the, there's loads of stuff in this. But like... I don't want to... Oh, oh, it makes blue glass. No way. Oh, that's kind of sick, you know. We're just going to encase it and then... Um, and then we'll. I'll be back to you in just a sec. Okay, so we actually have some material set up here in this little chest uh, for what we're going to do next. But for right now, I literally just have placed a block right behind this one and placed the water above it. So it's literally forcing the water wheel to spin a tiny bit faster as it's going around more of the water wheel. Um, I believe if I put a soul sand block right at the bottom uh, and then fill that block um, with a water block, it will make it go even faster. But for now, this is a good starting power. I'm also just smelting a tiny bit of iron. So what we'll do with this is actually, I'm just going to grab my hand crank and some iron uh, and then build up like this, place that down, put the hand crank on the side of it. And then a block underneath. And I just need three. 
plates. Okay, so that, that is actually working. So I'm just going to crank this round and press these iron ingots down. That should be good. Yeah, I have three iron sheets now. Okay, so what I need, I think something like, oh, I think I need a machine casing as well. Yeah, an andesite casing, which only have one left. So let's do that. Okay, so we have a man mechanical saw now. So if I take the mechanical saw, um, I think I can just put it next to the tree. Like, oh, it's not even facing in the tree. Okay, put it like facing into the tree. Put my hand crack on the back of it. And then I think if we do that, it mines the whole tree. It, and then places it in like the way the tree was formed as it was in the world. As if it's just been like fallen over. That is amazing. So that speeds up getting wood a lot faster as I would have spent ages getting a lot of wood. Actually, that's given me like almost a stack already. That's like amazing. But what I'm going to do is just do the same thing. Oh, what? Okay. Do the same thing on this one. Just get a tiny bit more wood because I will need wood for this starting out phase. Let's grab some and it's like aloe again. Let's just chomp down on some bread first. Okay, uh, so and it's aloe. Let's go over to this tree. And just make some more casing. We can actually mine it with our pickaxe as well because it's kind of half wood, half um, stone. Is it? Oh, wait, I've not shredded these. There we go. Let's just mine this last one. Okay. So what we want to do now is I've actually crafted uh, a mechanical bearing, a vertical gearbox, and I've obviously got some shafts left. So what this does, if I attach the gearbox into power, the gearbox lets you just di divert it to an off or another place. So it can go straight forward, and then the power goes straight through, or it can go to the top. So what I will be doing with this is sort of creating a, like a wheat farm. So if I have the... Oh, placed it the wrong way. If I have the mechanical bearing facing upwards, and then I place a block on the top, and then right-click with an empty hand, it's going to take that directional power and connect it to what I've built on the front. But I do need super glue to actually stick all the blocks together, which I don't have the infrastructure for that just yet. But I think I can use... Is it chassis? I think either radial chassis i think that might be um what i can use radio chassis connected in a row yes can they be directional that's the question okay so i've actually figured out um i i probably can just get some slime balls by crafting them um with the dough oh maybe not so I'll need crushing wheels, and I'm I'm not that far into into this yet. Uh, how do I have to get a, a millstone? Okay, the millstone is actually not bad to craft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft the millstone right now, and then what I'll do is we'll set it up. We'll try and get a mini farm made in this episode. But if not, then we shall do it in the next episode. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, guys, so we have the millstone. Let's just take some power. How does this work, then? We never actually used this before. Let's look at the bottom of it. Okay, so the power is from the bottom. So what we can do, actually, is get rid of this. Just place it on the top. And then... Oh, we don't have any wheat. Ah... It would, be, would have been good to keep some wheat, wouldn't it, guys? Um, Let's just grow some, then. So this next bit, I'm going to have to recount it a bit from memory. So what happened is I went off exploring in the ocean. I went to find some lime dye and some kelp. So I found a lot of sea pickles, as you can see. I'll uh, go back for them later. Um, and then I was looking out for kelp. Um, so I thought, oh, let's just head out to the main ocean. 
we'll get some kelp. And then luckily I came across some, which was great. So I gathered it all up um, and then I went head, uh, headed on my way back to get some more sea pickles. So as you can see on, on the screen now, I went back and I grabbed the sea pickles. And that's great because we need the lime dye for the slime balls. I planted some kelp down so we could create a little farm for later, just in case I need more because I'm using it for the conveyor belts. And then I headed back, took a little nap in my bed, and then went back to check on the wheat growth process. And as you can see, it's not very grown. But I see in the distance, oh my god, skeletons have spawned. I can get some bone meal. So I go over there, slice some skeletons. The first one didn't drop any, gutted. The second one dropped two bones. Brilliant. Six bone meal. Let's go back and let's bone meal that wheat. So I go back, bone meal the wheat. And luckily I get three pieces, replant the extra. And then that pretty much brings us back up to speed with now. So, basically, I have made a little platform too, as you can see, and I've moved uh, most of my chests over. So what I've done also is smelted up the kelp, and I will start to smelt the sea pickles as well. So if we grab our wheat and we come over here with our gearbox and our millstone, we can place the gearbox down and the millstone on top. I believe if I just throw it on the top, is it doing something? Okay, so I, I embrace the grind. I'm embracing it. Oh, oh, I got wheat flour. Okay, so what do I do? Like left click? No. I don't know what's going on here, guys. Do I just like hold left click or something? Maybe. Okay. I'm not. I I, I don't quite understand how that happened. But at least we have our lime die now. Um, and also, I wanted to make some mechanical belts because these are pretty good um, for transferring power. So if we place some there and then grab our mechanical belt. There we go. So that literally transfers all the power over. It seems a bit slower. But it transfers it... Basically, we can use these as like um, cables rather than crafting all of these things because kelp is pretty, pretty free. And we also have a conveyor belt now for items, which is pretty cool. Can I have the item back, please? Okay, good. Yeah, so that was just a proof of concept thing. Uh, but yeah, at least we can do that now. Um, so what we were doing, we were making some slime balls. So I need dough, which is literally just water and the wheat flour there we go we have the dough and then the lime mixed with the thing is a slime ball brilliant okay so if we get the is it the chassis we need it again i oh, know it was the radial chassis so we need three logs and two ally alite and a site alloy which we have so let's get a crafting bench and hopefully that works it does let's just test this out for the minute Okay, uh, maybe maybe we should use one of our um, mechanical belts to just pull the power over that way a bit. So let's do that now. Let's go, have we got any cobblestone here? Yeah, we do. So let's bring it all the way over here for now. Um, and then we can right click there and right click there. Okay, I believe it actually creates particles, doesn't it? Uh, where is park? Okay, particles. All. Let's just do that. Because I want. I do want to see it do that. Okay. Oh, oh no, it does. There we go. Okay. So the power's now over here. And we can just simply pull that out. Let's put the gearbox down. And then our mechanical bearing on. With a radial chassis. And then if we right click the slime. Oh, we keep the slime ball too. Oh, no way. Okay. So if we right click the slime ball. That should all be linked together now. So this whole cobblestone pillar should rotate. And it does. And it's going pretty quick. That. That's pretty cool. 
So hold on. So if I if I right click that and make it stop. Imagine I put a mechanical saw there, uh, and then maybe oh. So that goes out one, two, three. So that's one, two, three. So it should be here that the mechanical saw goes. If I then do that, will that just automatically cut through the wood? <gasps> so that's like an automatic tree farm almost. Isn't it? And then I also think... Hold on, let's grab these blocks that are glitching around. I think I got them. Um, I also think... That if we put a chest with it, everything mined will go into the chest, right? So, let's do this. So, the mechanical log. So, the, I'm going to place seven logs here. And then let's go down, right click that. That should mine all the wood. We don't see any wood. We right click there. And there's seven logs in there. So we literally have a proof of concept now. So what I'll do is I'm going to think about this more. I will then craft everything we need to be crafted to make this wheat farm. And we will also expand the base, get some more materials, and then move on to that all in the next episode. So thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoy the series. I hope you are excited for what is to come. Uh, like, subscribe, share with a friend, comment in the comments what you would like to see me make in this uh, series. And maybe we might even invite some friends to join us on a server. Who knows? May just keep this as a single player though. We don't know. But yeah, so thank you for watching everybody. I shall see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.